Our story takes place in the oblong office, which belongs to the patrician, Lord Vetinari. And he is doing his normal paperwork. And then Drumnod comes in silently. Sir? Moist is outside waiting. Ah, thank you, Drumnod. Send him in. Yes, sir. One moment later, Moist is ushered into the oblong office and just stands there, sweating a bit. Lord Vetinari is still head down and all you can hear is the scratching of his pen as he finishes off his paperwork. It was only for a brief moment, but for Moist, it seemed like eternity. Then Lord Vetinari puts his pen down steeples his fingers and looks over them at Moist. Now then, Moist, let me get this right. We discover a lost city uh, called El Dorado, all paved with gold, and I send you and a few others to explore and negotiate with the locals. And now some of them think you are a god, and the rest of the locals want to skin you alive. Have I got this right? Moist. Well, yes, yes, my lord, yeah, and that's about the gist of it. <laughs> Plus, well, you see... Ah, let me guess. They think you are a god because you wore your golden suit. Yes? Yeah, yes. I, you know, I, 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 I just wanted to make a big impression, you know, just to show who we are and, well, and... Uh... Oh, you made an impression, all right. But I don't see why this is my problem. That you think... They think that you are a god. Well, I did say I'm working for someone who is higher up than me. So they think I work for a bigger god, you know? <laughs> and I, uh, I'll, I said your name, my lord. <sighs> right. <sighs> well. There's only one course of action to take now, isn't there? Moist. Uh, yes, sir. Yes, and uh, what is that? We just have to be gods. Now come along. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes. Wait, wait, no. Wait, 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 wait. I hardly think I'm qualified to come across all sanctified. I just don't cut it with the cherubim. Moist, what are you talking about? There again, they're on their knees. Being worshipped is a breeze, which rather suits us in the interim. The interim, the interim, that's me and them. Oh, my friend! It's tough to be a god. Tread where mortals have not trod. Be dignified when really you're a sham. Be the object of devotion. Be the subject of psalms. It's a rather touching notion. All those prayers and those salams. Exactly. And who am I to bridle if I'm forced to be an idol? If they say that I'm a god, that's what I am. And what's more, if you don't comply with the locals' wishes... I can see you being sacrificed or stuffed. You have a point. That's a very good thinking. So let's be gods. The perks are great. Yes, El Dorado on a plate. Thank you. Local feeling should not be rebuffed. Never above, never above the local feeling. Oh, my friend, it's tough to be a god. But if you get the people's nod, 
Count your blessings and keep them sweet. That's my advice. That's great advice! Be a symbol of perfection. Be a legend. Be a cult. Take the praise, take the collection, as the multitudes exult. Don a supernatural habit. We'll be crazy not to grab it. You got it. So sign up to new gods for paradise. Paradise.